Welcome back everyone. Time now 747 on our Thursday and the San Diego Black LGBTQ Coalition was established back in 2015 to support a strong, sustained and connected black LGBTQ community. Third annual Black Pride is July 6th through the 9th and they have a lot of events that you can attend. We're going to be talking more about that. Community Relations Chair Raquel Spencer here to share more along with coalition interns Melody and Jawan. All of you, thank you for being with us this morning. We're so happy to have you here thank to talk you. about Pride, uh, to talk about the coalition. I want to start off with the coalition, of yes. course, just in terms of viewers at home, maybe wondering what the coalition is. You're relatively new, last, what, 10 years or so. So tell us how it came to be and, and where you guys are now. Yeah, absolutely. So the San Diego Black LGBTQ Coalition, we are a 501c3 nonprofit. Uh, so we've been around, like you said, for a little bit less than 10 years. Yeah. So what we do is we're basically a central hub, a uh, connector for the black LGBTQ community here in San Diego. So what's the importance, and any of you can chime in, of having a coalition dedicated to the black community in, the, in, in an already you know, marginalized minority community, the LGBTQ community? Uh, I imagine it's important to have that space for people who are black in the LGBTQ community. Yeah, absolutely. It's extremely important. Uh, because a lot of the times we lack the community. Mm -hmm. So we lack the resources, uh, we lack the connections with each other, and for a lot of us, you know, we lack the family that we need. So it's very, very important to be able to connect the community um, for several, several reasons, but mainly for the, for the connection between each other um, and just the growth that we need. What's it been like for you guys since you, since you joined the program? Oh, it's Coalition. been wonderful. Um, it's good to understand the why we have it and mm -hmm. why we have the coalition there's a black people only make up six percent of the san diego county population so when you real when you're trying to find the community right it's good to have a hub where they can we can all come together yeah it's been very amazing just getting to know the san diego community and all the san diego community has to offer um it's been very liberating to be around uh dope black leaders black queer leaders at that um who are doing such amazing work and leading the charge like with when it comes to um, having safe spaces and having serious conversations about and advocating for those safe spaces. Yeah, I imagine you say six percent. Six percent. I mean, you're you have to kind of be reminded of that when you think of it and the importance of people who are in the black community seeing people like them in in the queer community, right? Yes. Absolutely. Um, yes, yes, how yes. did Black Pride come to be? That's only three years old now? Three years old. Okay. Yeah, this is our third year. Uh, this Congratulations. Year. Thank you. <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> so yeah, our theme this year is Black Joy Renaissance, and it really came about uh, to fill a need. Uh, like you said, it's very important for community, for us to connect, and one of the things that is important about Black Pride is we get to celebrate the black gay life, black mm -hmm. LGBTQ life, and for a lot of us, it's it's the best celebration of the year, and it's a time when we finally get to be ourselves. I imagine it is a mix between celebration and also probably a little bit of frustration, anger. I mean, this is a time where there's a lot of anti-queer legislation being proposed. So how do you balance the two where this is supposed to be, of course, pride and celebration, but you're combating a lot at the same time? You channel all that energy into the four events we have. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you bring, you, you balance you grief and gratitude. That's right, right? that's right, you can't let it out. out. <laughs> so what are the events that are gonna be taking place? So the first two is on the, it's gonna be July 6th. Um, we're gonna have the Mr. Mrs. and Mix black gay pageant that's going to be at El Cajon. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. El Cajon? You got it. <laughs> at Boulevard Hall, yes. Yes. And then we're also going to have a July 7th. It's going to be Meet Me at the Back Ball, which is a ball. Um, so that's going to be at the rail. And that's Ooh, all in Hillcrest. Exciting. Yes. Um, so we have two more events. Yeah. Um, we're having a takeover at Rich's, also in Hillcrest. Amazing. Um, it's going to be super fun. You know, we're going to, you know, it's a celebration. So I mean, these are all, like, it, anyone in the queer community knows these spots. And so yeah. it's just going to be perfect to be able to also, I imagine, bring in people who are not black to be yes. able to experience what black culture is like and Absolutely. mix it with spaces that they're already familiar with, yeah. like Riches, you know, all, all these venues. Yeah. Oh, of course, and for our last event, we're really going all out. Okay. It's our biggest event, it's the last day. Um, Riches is on uh, July 8th. Okay. Um, this event is on July 9th, and we're having a mansion party. Ooh. Uh, we're gonna have a bunch of DJs, a bunch of music. We're just celebrating body positivity and black joy. Um, 
you know, again, it's our biggest event, so yeah. we want to make sure like we're going all out. We're going yeah. all out. Going all <laughs> out. Uh, when all these events come to a close, you guys don't close up shop. Once yeah. August comes around, yeah. uh, tell us what kind of services you can provide beyond Pride um, after Pride ends. Well, to be honest, this Saturday, June 24th, we have a community engagement forum. Great. So this is our annual forum. Okay. We do this uh, four times throughout the year. That forum is to bring the community out, tell us what they need. As far as resources, you know, just to name a few, we have a scholarship fund oh, awesome. for okay. high school seniors and college students, $2,500 scholarship that you can, you can be awarded. Um, we also have the Black Trans Emergency Fund. Okay. If there's any housing needs, any food insecurities that you can always apply for as well. Amazing. Absolutely, so a lot of, lot of resources. That you all provide. Um, remind people where they can go for more information. Absolutely. What's the website? So our website is uh, SD Black LGBTQ Coalition okay. org. Feel free to follow us online on Instagram as Amazing. well. SDB Coalition, LGBTQ Coalition. Do people need to buy tickets for those four events? How, how do they do that? Um, so you can also like find that find out on our website. Okay. Um, for Riches, our takeover, it is thirty dollars. Okay. Um, and for our mansion party, it is forty-five dollars. Mm -hmm. And for the first two events, the first two events, one to be entered into the ball, it's fifty dollars and uh, twenty dollars, just if you want to come Amazing. out. I love um, it. And it's all on Eventbrite as okay. well. Perfect. And you can get to those through our Instagram page as well. Well, thank you three for being with us yeah, this morning. Thank you There's for so having much going us. On. I'm so glad you were able to join us. Uh, we have a quick break in store. We'll be right back with more news, weather, and traffic. Stay with us.